hello my youtube family welcome back to another video today um thank you for stopping by thank you for tuning in and i appreciate you to all my new subscribers and to all my old subscribers thank you so much from the bottom of my heart this video is in reference to the last video if you haven't watched the last video stop this one and go back and watch that one because they they mesh together after i made the video you know, you know, I'm still feeling some kind of way. I'm still feeling, still feeling some kind of way because this was a child. I'm in the kitchen and I'm making coffee. And something spoke over me. I know, we both know what that something is. We have to start getting outside of the four walls. Four walls of our home. The four walls of our church not meaning to leave the church life happens also outside of the church it's not just in church alone and if you're anything like myself i am homebody um i'm an introvert when i need to be and i'm an extrovert when i need to be so i'm both there's nothing like being in the comfort of your own home because we know of the world that we live in and for most of us, you know, home is our, that's our safe space. That's our, that's, that's home. But after posting that video, you know, God spoke to me and he said, you have to get outside of those four walls because I need you out there. Like this child lost his life. The way that he did, he didn't have to. He really didn't have to lose his life like that. And no, I may not be able to save everybody. And you may not be able to save everybody. But look, we can help somebody. We can save somebody. One person at a time. It costs us nothing to just check on somebody if it's only one person. It costs us nothing to be mindful that Oh, I haven't seen this child in a while. This child used to be outside playing, but I haven't seen him in a while. No, I get it. You might not want to knock on the door at home because people are crazy these days. Let's face it. That's just the truth. Um, But you want to kind of wiggle your way somehow or another to find out where that child is or because you haven't seen them. You know, if you have a neighbor or if you know somebody, you know, call and ask. Whatever you got to do, as long as you're not hurting anybody or, you know, you're not putting yourself in harm's way. I I truly believe that God will protect you. He's going to protect. He protects you anyway. It's us that put our own self in danger. I believe in my heart that he will protect you. Because you're doing what he wants you to do. He'll do you're doing what he needs you to do. You're doing what you, you're, you're needing to do for the people. And we cannot do that inside of our homes sometimes we got to get out we can be at home as much as we want to be but sometimes we need to be outside of the four walls of the church outside of the four walls of our home and do something and do something help somebody check on somebody there's no way in the world that i'm gonna say it again that that child should have left this world the way he did you know, I'm thinking like, where, where is the family? Where is somebody? Did anybody even outside of the family or no, in the family check on this child? Were there friends? Were there associates? Were there, were, was there anybody? Let me tell you some of the, let me tell you the one main thing that I hated when I was in the medical field. I still am. There can be a million and one people to come and check on their loved ones. Mind you, I said one million and one people. There's going to be that one person. So it leaves a million other people. That one person will come in and literally pull the covers back. Pull the sheets back to check 
and see what they see with the physical, with the eye. What do I see? Do I see skin breakdowns? Do I see skin tears? Do I see bruises? Do I, let, let me see the feet, how the feet, what are the feet, what are the condition of the feet? The, the other million, they come, they come to drop off food. They come to drop off fruit. They come to drop off whatever they need to do. Or, or they come um, and, and somehow um, try to help their guilt from having their parent or their loved one there. But still, for me and to me, when if, God forbid, I never want to see my loved ones in a nursing home. But you know, life happens. I'm never going to go inside of that room and not pull the cover back. The, you know what I'm saying? Especially if it's my close family. I'm going to want to see what's going on up under those blankets, up under those sheets. So you mean to tell me there is no appearance from neck down? You're only looking from the, from the head up? No, it shouldn't be that way. Do you know how many times I've seen that? Do you know how many times that has truly, truly, truly made me feel some kind of way? But then you want to come in and complain about um, mama, mama is wet or mama hasn't been changed in a couple of hours. Look, I get that. I get that. So what about the rest of mama? Did you check mama's bottom? Were you there when mama was being changed? What did you see? What didn't you see? But that's my point. You have to do something. You have to do something else. You have to do something else so you will know for yourself what is going on with your loved one. And I don't leave myself out of the, out of the equation when I say we need to get out. And lay an eye on the physical, whether it's riding down the street. If you see something, if you if you are in a in, in the store, in a department store, wherever you at, Walmart, Harris Tito, wherever. We need to get out and lay our eye on the physical. There has got to be a what better way. And no, like I said, we can't save everybody. We can't, we might not can't help anybody. But if we can help the one person, I feel like it's so worth it to get outside of those four walls. God is not pleased at how this child left this world. He rotted in bed. He's not pleased with that. He's just not. Come on, family. Let's do better. Let's do better. It only takes a little time of the day. It only takes five minutes, maybe not even five minutes to check up on somebody. So can we can we do this together? Can we can we actually do this? I'm gonna end my video here. I had planned to create other content today, but there was no way I could without creating this. You guys have a wonderful day. May the Lord be with you, wherever you are, whatever you're doing. May he touch you, mind, body, and soul. In Jesus' name I pray. And I'll see you in the next video.